What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Modern Warfare Beta and today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite weapons so far and give you the best attachments that I have found for this weapon so far in my opinion. Now there's tons of attachments in this game so definitely try everything out for yourself but just be careful when trying these attachments. Make sure you read them and know what the kind of positive and negative effects of these are because sometimes you'll see a positive effect and you think that's going to be great to have on a gun and then you kind of get into what the negative effects are and it's really harming you more than it is helping you. It's a lot different than any other COD. You know, you're used to just slapping a grip on or something like that and it is helping recoil or, you know, helping aim down sight speed or something. Uh, a lot of these are hurting more than they're helping in my opinion. But I want to give you my best kind of loadout so far I have found with this MP5. And one of the MP the MP5 is kind of one of my favorite weapons right now in the beta. There's a few other good guns. But this is the one I'm having one of, some of the most success with I've had game in and game out. First of all, I would recommend in the muzzle kind of section that you put the lightweight suppressor on. I know a lot of people aren't fans of suppressors. And now, they don't. A lot of people kind of have that opinion that they do less damage. It's not that they do less damage. It's just at range, you have to put more bullets in the target because suppressor kind of have a drop-off before, you know, a little bit earlier than the weapon would normally without a suppressor on it. So that's why it feels like it does less damage. It's just it has a drop off a little bit earlier than anything else would. If you're not going to run the lightweight suppressor, I would recommend probably no barrel at all. That's the best luck I've had is no barrel. But I promise when you put that lightweight suppressor on, you will see what I mean. It is very, very good. And it is kind of a unique thing because it does give you a bit of a damage bonus, even though it is a suppressor attachment. The next thing I would recommend is the 5MW laser. Of course, that is a laser I have attached here. You can kind of see it has that green glow. It has very good hip fire. Now the downside to this is enemies can see it. So if you're kind of worried about that, you could run just the normal laser, the normal red laser. It has decent hip fire and it has no downfalls. But the thing to, uh, to kind of to me is the hip fire is really good on this gun um, with this other laser. And it comes in very handy because kind of that aim down sight from sprint or even just movement in general is slow in this game. So hip fire will definitely help you out in close quarters. The next thing I would recommend is an underbarrel attachment would be the vertical grip. The weapon does not have horrible recoil, but all the guns in game do have recoil. You're going to notice a lot more recoil than some past Call of Duty games you may have been playing. And to me, the vertical grip helps out with that recoil management. The thing that makes this gun kind of a step above everything else, in my opinion, is the magazine. Of course, once you unlock the 10 millimeter ammo, this is going to be a big improvement to the gun. This is not just an extended mag or a quick mag. This is actually a magazine that changes the uh, the ammunition out, and this this 10 millimeter round ammo does more damage. So I would definitely always recommend running that, no matter if you don't run anything else that I'm recommending. That 10 millimeter ammo is a must. And last but not least, the rear grip, which is going to be the pistol grip. So when you go to the rear grip, any gun that you can unlock the pistol grip on for the rear grip, I would always recommend using. This does help with kind of that aim down sight from sprint just kind of movement or you know ads in general and it is a plus on any gun that you can put this on i promise guys if you try these attachments out once you get them unlocked you will see a big improvement in the way the gun feels and kind of you know plays and that's how it is with all these weapons in game once you start getting these attachments un unlocked these weapons start to really shine in a lot of different ways Guys, I hope this helps you out. I hope this gives you some ideas to try out with the MP5. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.